Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the all-new Ranger 260 MPX. Uh, just got our demo unit in. So the 260 is um, uh, very similar to the 330 MPX, only it's a lower amperage and voltage output. Uh, the main differences, I mean, we're gonna, so in this video we're going to talk about main differences in between the 330 and the 260 and what this unit replaces, um, and then some of the features that we have here. Um, so let's jump into it. Now, I know on my latest video on that 330 MPX, they're actually in the same dimensional case. Um, they look very similar, but one has, obviously this one has less amperage output and voltage output. So you got the little, the two doors that open up. You got your, all your tags, this is brand new. Um, you got your 110 and then your 220s. Another 110, you got your uh, GFCI inline uh, GFCI breaker. The battery's behind this cover. Uh, we've already hooked that all up. And we got a spool gun with this unit that we're going to try out that is specifically made for the uh, MPX series, the 230, or 330 and the 260. So what's really nice about this unit is uh, the weight on it and the size of this unit. So I think dimensionally it stands 36 inches tall. It's only 20, uh, 24 inches wide, so it fits in some narrow gaps. Real nice unit. We turn it on here, I'll show you how the screen works. So this thing is IP23 rated. So spraying water, dust, that sort of thing. Not full submersion in water. Now you can hear this, the clicking. That's the fuel pump trying to, it's running to help start the motor. We're not gonna start it, we're gonna let it fault out and then get to our home screen. Um, you got your choke here. This is set up similar to their um, 210 MPs too. So you got your, your selector knob and to just select one, say we're stick welding, you just push, and that's how we get to our thing. So we got our fuel gauge here, shows what, what process you're in, 100 amps, that sort of thing. We can go back home, and we can go over. This thing will do flux core, um, regular MIG or flux core, gas shielded, with a spool gun also, and then lift arc TIG. Uh, one thing that's different, it doesn't do downhill pipe, and it doesn't arc gouge like the 330 MPX, but really this is a smaller unit. You wouldn't want to do those two anyways with this. So if we go down one more, we tells us our engine. So our oil, life, air filter, spark plug, fuel filter, that sort of thing. Tells us the life of them. We go back. We get into our setup. And you can change language, units, restore factory settings. It's got a pin. So this thing has one of those pins where you can punch in a pin if you want to lock out the machine from other users. It has a pin. That you can set up but you obviously gotta go back to set it back to factory reset if you want to change your pin go back here and there you go that's the setup here i'll start this thing up let's just cycle out i believe this unit right around like 75 decibels is what the range will run at So we got, we got the spool gun hooked up. Now this thing is a Magnum Pro 250 LXGT spool gun. It's specifically made for the uh, MPX series, like I said earlier. So there is no control box for it. It directly plugs into the uh, unit uh, with a seven pin connector. Then you obviously have your positive and negative terminal for uh, ground and then power to the gun. So this thing uses Magnum Pro consumables, so the new Magnum Pro stuff. It fits right in this spool gun, which is really cool because if you already have Lincoln series at, at work or in the shop, you can run uh, same consumables, diffusers, nozzles, contact tips, that sort of thing. So what's unique about this is there is no control box and it directly plugs into an engine drive. So this is a 260. There's no pulse on the 260, but it still plugs into it and runs. Whereas some of the competition, you can't run 
a spool gun on the smaller engine drive units. So we're gonna give this thing a shot and see how it welds. Um, basically, it's just your it's just your typical spool gun, other than it directly plugs into this. So let's fire this thing up. Uh, we'll give it a shot here. super nice I'm, I'm impressed with this just for the fact that the spool gun is it, it seems to be lighter than the competition spool guns um, obviously you still got the power port and everything and your gas line but it seems to be lighter and I really like that you can use those consumables because they're they're actually very good consumables they have long long life on them so one more thing I want to point out there too your wire feed speed control is on the back side of your uh, spool gun so just adjust that uh, it'll display on the screen and obviously to adjust your bolts you gotta go back to your unit turn it up or down uh, very unique little, little spool gun but hey i mean that thing pumped out a real nice weld and just think if you're in the field on boat docks or truck trailers that sort of thing you got engine drive on the back of your service truck run that spool gun it's perfect now another unique thing that i wanted to point out on this thing so it comes out just see here it comes off it's got a almost it's a break for that spool gun so it keeps it pushed back and aligned and then you can when you're loading it that thing pops up slide your spool in put your wire feed your wire through here and then flip that back down and it keeps it from free spooling very unique very very cool um, it just goes back on there like that and then you're all set to go this thing does not come with a spool of wire um, so you're gonna to have to buy that when you purchase this thing. This unit right here runs about uh, 1,700 bucks right in there. And the Ranger 260 runs about 48.99. They are in stock right now at Baker's Gas. Uh, we have them on the floor. Real nice unit, I mean, it's, it runs good, it's quiet, it's light, it's small, fits in the back of a pickup truck. So just to touch on your duty cycles and that sort of thing. It's 260 amps, 26 volts at 100% duty cycle so real good output rating on the unit it's 23 and a half horse Kohler uh, real reliable motors in these things 9500 continuous watts on the generator side so the 330 has 10,000 watts this one has 9500 watts and we're talking about maybe 12 1300 dollars price range difference so if you're in the market for an engine drive and you don't need a 330 the 260 would be the perfect fit for you I believe now the, the unit we're doing a uh, launch special on these things so half off covers right now and the, the, we do stock all the covers so those are in stock and then we're going to throw a promo code on it so mpx60 will get you sixty dollars off your total purchase so just throw mpx60 in that line down below and then you get sixty dollars off if uh thanks for watching my video if you have any more questions leave comments below and we'll do our best to answer them and uh thanks again for watching stay tuned for some more